Hey, what's up, everybody? Repmol here, and we are back with episode six of Seven Days to Die. Um, it is day seven, which means we have to crack down and prepare for Horde Night. So we have our stone tools. We have no wood, no gunpowder, very little ammo. We do have Molotov cocktails, so hopefully, with any luck, we could use those to save our souls. But it's gonna be gonna be close. Our pipe machine is not gonna be of much help because we don't have much ammo for that. But we do have some ammo for the pipe pistol, which, uh, let's be honest, is only gonna tickle them. But uh, you know, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gather some wood, and uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to edit doing uh, building horde base. Yeah. I also don't really know where I want to put it. Um, I was thinking maybe. I was thinking maybe like out over he over here somewhere, but I don't hey, really where's know. Where's my bike? Mine's stuck in the trader. My bike. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna have to. I we have full hunger, we have full thirst, we have this thing working on doing that. We don't have any gunpowder, so what we should try to do is obtain some potassium nitrate and some other stuff while we wait for our. Oh, the trees are not are not fully grown yet, and my game does not like me being out here apparently. Let me know if you see my bike. I saw a zombie. I don't even up. have an icon for it. You have to get close to it. So the game spawns it in. Oh, so maybe it is in the trader. Is yours there? Mine's stuck in the trader. Yeah, I remember getting teleported out. No, like, do you have an icon? No, I don't have an icon. Okay, it might be. Why does this keep going over his shoulder? What, does the bow behave different than it used to? Alright, yeah, so we have not very... I mean, we do have a lot of arrows, but arrows aren't going to help very much during Horde Nights, so that's not really something we should rely on. But, you know, I guess it's better than nothing, but not really. The other thing we have to figure out is where we want to build this Horde Base. I can't hear you. You can't hear- I can't hear you either. Anyway, so we need- we need lots and lots and lots of wood. And we need it fast. Now, I already have 66 wood frames, which is already... almost... A third of the, what we need to build the base, but basically we don't really need a lot. We just need to get it up off the ground. We do have a small amount of stone and a decent amount of clay. So but, uh, we also have 239 cobblestone. So we do have some cobblestone for some fortifications for the lower legs, which will hopefully give us enough armor to defend the um, the supports of the horde base during horde night. It is only day seven, so it shouldn't be incredibly terrible. But this is also Alpha 21, so I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I have already died in this Let's Play, and I don't normally die, so... Hey, who knows? Alright, here's some iron. So, what I think, Crystalist Gem, what you should do... Actually, I don't think that's your name anymore. What we should do is... Or what you should do is see if you can find some Potassium Nitrate nodes and some, uh... Coal. Well, so we can make some gunpowder. Huh? I was getting wood. Okay, yeah, I get that too. I'll see if we I do can have Molotov cocktails. Oh. If we use those, we have 23 Molotov cocktails. If we use those efficiently, we should be able to get, like, make them last. The icon of my bike is here. Oh, also, last episode, I, I ended the episode with saying if I get another skill point, I could uh, level up. Or, I mean, I could put another point into uh, Army Cook, I think the skill is called. This year. But if you notice, we already have that point. I didn't notice that last time until I was editing the video. So we actually can full spec into Master Chef. Which is great though, because that means all of our other points we can actually put into something useful. Like Daring Adventure or our Intellect. We could get we could make our baton do more damage. Or we can make the mouse go away. Or you put it into something super important like Minor 69 or, or Mother Load. Mother Load, for instance, would be very good because not only... I mean, it doesn't make you do more damage, but it makes you harvest more ore from the same block. Which is good. Minor 69 makes it so you can harvest efficiently. 
But this one makes it like a harvest more, which is going to be super important in our survival. And stop spamming me with that, dude. Well, you don't accept it. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm in the menus going over shit. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so... We're gonna uh, need that. We're gonna need some stone so we can make a little bit more cobblestone. Pumpkin seeds! And we're going to barely have this together in time for the night, honestly. If we have it together at all. If we have it together at all, yeah. So, uh, let me gather some materials, and, uh, yeah, we will be back and we're ready to build the thing, and we'll do, like, a building montage type thing or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Alright, guys, so it is after six, so this is probably all the resources we're gonna have. We have 842 wood, 216 stone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna- Oh, I have an egg on me. We're gonna get st Oh, I forgot to put the chrysanthemums back, too. That's great. Uh, we're gonna get started on trying to craft up some cobblestone real quick. We're gonna call craft what's the max we make? 216. Let's make uh 150. Craft that please. We're gonna throw these out because we don't need those. Um alrighty then. And then we have a little bit of gunpowder that we do have, which is kind of exciting. Uh we're gonna find our bed, which is over this way. And the game has made everything foggy, so that way we can't see what we're doing. But we're gonna run back this way. I'm going to head up to the trader and get my bike, and then I'll see you guys back somewhere where we figure out where we want to build a horde base. Alright, so we have our bike, so now we got to figure out where exactly we want to make our stand against the undead. <laughs> I can't hear you. So again. we have, in the running, we have a location mm -hmm. over here. Lollipop's off. is in the hills. We have a location over here, or we could do it over here. Or, what's over here? Is that a farm or is that an empty lot? That's probably a farm. Um, or we have... No, I don't want to do it there. That's too close to our house. I'm thinking we prospect over here and see what we think of this area over here. Let's go. Let's go check this out. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so right off the bat, so we're I here. We're also kind of and right off the bat, while this might be good, there are kind of houses and stuff that the zombies might get caught caught on. All right, well, I guess we got right here or nowhere, huh? The zombies have already heard about the adventures that's coming over here. Look at them all. There's three zombies all right there. Oh, I shot right over the shoulder. Wow, I suck, guys. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, you are. Oh, the fog went away. Nice. Hey, lollipop sloth, what do you think of this area? I can't hear you. Can't hear me, huh? Ban of our existence. Hello? Up soon. Oh, it it rang on my phone. Well, I called you back, but I didn't hang up. Oh. Well, where do you want to build a horde base? I don't know. I'm off getting potassium nitrate. Ah, okay. So you pick. You're the one that builds it. Yeah, I'm thinking about right here. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to build it here. Let me clear out a space and I will be back. Alright guys, so we have Lollipop Sloth here to help give us backup, so we're going to go ahead and just get started on building this. So now how I usually build a horde base here is first off, we're going to ride this bike out of here. Out of the way. I'm going to slap that over here somewhere, I don't really care where. It's over here. Alright. We're going to stand eh, somewhat level to the road here, and we're going to put down a block. This is going to be our center right here, right? 
Yes. Dude, I just punched a chicken now, and it died. We start off with having a 3x3 three three space around this block. So, one block here, one block here, right? This is going to be our inner room. And it's going to be held by a thing here, a block here, right? One, two, three, four. Block here. One, two, three, four. Block here. Right now, should be right in line with that one. Yes, cool. Now we're going to put this block here, because this is going to be where our doorway goes. And we're going to get rid of this thing. We're going to put that here. Alright, so that's, that's our center point block right there. Next. We have our, our outer walkway, because this is going to be where the electrical equipment and everything like that goes for the horde base, but, you know, not on the ground, it's going to be standing up. Next up, we're going to have a walkway around that, so that's going to be two grates of um, our, uh, wood bars, right, and then a wall. So since that's two blocks out, we're going to go diagonally one, so, like, Discord one, two, broke again. Three. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with Discord, we got to get this base built. Three, one, two. So we go one, two, one, two. And that should be kind of roughly where we want to put our things. All right, so, but that's not normally how I do this, right? So one, two, then a block. All right, and from here to one, two, block. Want to touch garbage? Let's see what we got in here. A cooking book, pumpkin cheesecake. Nice. All right. So then next we do one, two, and a block. One, two, and a block. One, two, and a block. Beat up this cotton. Beat up this cotton. And a block. One, two, block. Right. Yeah. And one, two, block. One, two, block. This one here. One, two, and a block. And then this one here is going to match out where our outer corner is. Now here's the tricky part. Where this is, we also want a block here too. This is going to be the main entrance to our base and our walkway is going to go out here. So, from our walkway, we have the hatch that goes here. Actually, we don't normally do a hatch for the walkways anymore. So there's going to be a hatch there on the walkway. And the walkway is going to have a space for a, uh, a sludge turret. And then, and then another five spaces for the five, the one by five trigger plate. One, two, three, four, five. A space to turn around. One, two. And then, uh, I don't remember if I have that go two blocks or what. You wouldn't happen to remember all the pops off, do you? I don't remember either. Anyway, so. Yeah, so I don't remember if that, if we normally do two blocks wide or one block wide. I want to say two blocks. Um, how do I repair iron knuckles? Is that repair kit? Iron knuckles might be a repair um, kit, yeah. Do we have those? So then this one here is also one, two, three, four, and five. And then a six block and it turns around. Of course, that's too close to base. Well, hold on. So we're going to extend this further. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna make seven, eight. Alright. One, two, three, Excuse me, ma'am. Five. Yeah, see and that stays oh. far away from the base that I like. Oh, dude, I punched her arm off. Sucks. Uh, one, two, I need to go look for seven, iron. Four, five, six, Wait. <sighs> I 
because we are going to need iron, dude. Have you seen any iron nodes nearby? No. Damn. All right, so that's looking that's looking good. Okay. So the next part is we go and we decide where our supports are going to be. One, two, three. I don't like that. Every two blocks for support. So support. One, two. Right. One, two. One, two. But I tried up against the edge, so that's not going to work. All right. So what we can do is we can do the support here because that's going to be by where the base is going to be. Actually, you know what? One, two, three works. Alright. And then we're just going to have the other poles line up with that one. So, just like this. We're going to take out these ones, this one, and this one. And this one. That one's going to stay because it's a corner, so it has to stay. Alright, we're going to take out these ones. That's a corner, so it's going to stay as well. Alright. And then, um... And then, and then we do, and we start the stairs. So just to signify that that's where the stairs start, we're just gonna do that like that. All right. So then that's basically the basic layout of where our base, or how our base is gonna go. So next off, we're gonna build up all these pillars. So we're gonna put one there, put one there, put one here, put one here, put one where I'm standing. Now I usually build this about five blocks high, five meters high. So we have one, two. Three, Three, four. I thought you were gonna cut this out. And then five. Yeah, I was going to, but all right. So that's that part. So I'm gonna raise all these up to five, and I'll be right back. Now those are all connected up. So this is going to be the outer portion of our base here. This is going to be the wall that defends us from the zombies. This is going to be the walkway over here that funnels them up for us. Right here, this is going to be our inner sanctum right here, this room. It's going to be in case all else goes wrong. Well, not really. It's going to be what protects the stuff that we need in case we get injured and whatnot. So we're going to mark some doorways here because there's cops and stuff like that that spit at you. So this is going to be a wall so that protects everything like that because you don't want to have a weak door there or something. And we put a door here on this side as well. So we're going to mark the doors out so we know where those go. We also have this one spot here. This is where our... Right here. Right here is where our uh, hatch is going to go. So we're going to put a block here. A block here. That's going to signify where the hatch goes. And then we're going to go ahead and going to drop down here. Because now we're going to raise everything else up here to five blocks. And then we're going to fill this in with wood blocks. Alright, so I'll be back when I have that done. All right, so now this is filled in, so now we can safely walk through here. Now this gives us the added benefit of if the zombies are shooting or chewing apart the pillars on the bottom, we can still shoot at them. If the cops become too much of a problem, spin back at us. Now I know there's blocks that block projectiles from the zombies, but we'll let things shoot through them. I just don't remember which ones those are. They used to be the arrow slits, but they broke those. But anyway, if you guys want to let me know in the comment which block it is, that'd be helpful, but I, I'm too lazy to look it up. All right, I shouldn't say lazy. I don't have the time. But if the cops spitting at us do become a problem, we do have in here where we can run and we can heal up. 
But for the most part, we usually just shoot them, and then, er, like, you know, because normally we'll have the ammo to deal with it, and then if we don't, it's usually early on in the game, or we don't really have the resources or anything, and we probably won't get the cops anyway, so. What is that? So the next thing we want to do is we want to build up the walls here. So we're going to put up these things here. This is going to act as the walls that'll protect us from the majority of things that cops will do. They'll also protect us from the vultures. And yes, I know I'm putting these things down before upgrading things because the truth is, is if you can't see it from the outside, it doesn't need to be upgraded. Words of wisdom. No, I'm kidding. If you want your structure to be really long lasting, you should probably upgrade them before you add more blocks on. Alright, so this is going to be our doorway right here. So. Alright, so that's done. So now that's done and that's done. Next thing we need to do is, one, we should probably work on doing the windows, but that can wait. Doing the inner sanction thing here can also wait for now. But yeah, we can mark that out. We definitely want to have our wall up here for whatever reason, because you never know when something that might spit at you should show up. But we should have the roof up first before the yeah, Hornite comes on as well, because we don't want to be attacked by vultures. But we also want to have an easier way of getting up here that doesn't involve wasting so much stamina. So we should work on our stairs down here. So we're going to pick these ones up, and we're going to run, we're going to ramp these out. Oops, I forgot. Stupid game. Alright, anyway. Because we want to have this in a fashion where we can be safe from the zombies. Actually, that's probably fine where that is. Okay, cool. Alright, and then we want to put a block here. For just in case, it'll add extra stability to the stairs. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select these to the stair blocks. The stair blocks, and we're gonna go ahead and escape from that. We're gonna open up our inventory again, and we're gonna open, move our pickaxe real quick, and we're gonna put that there, right? And then these ones here can be the corner stairs. All right, excellent. So now we go ahead and we stair up what we want to stair up real quick here. We're going to change this to rotate to be on face. This will speed things up. This is on face right here. All right, so that's that. Next, we're going to we're going to flange this. So we're going to put these down here. Oops. That face is apparently different than the other faces, apparently. All right. So now, because I want these to spread out a little bit, this will help. The All right. So we're going to flange it right here. Slow lower down, and we're going to put that right here, and right here, and right there, and is that cornered from that one? Yes, it is. Okay, and then we put these in the middle here, right there, right there, and one right here. You're going to break this one out, I messed up one earlier. And we're gonna replace that with solid blocks. Sorry, not letting zombies run underneath your stairwell just works out better because I find that they have the nasty habit of breaking things. Believe it or not, yeah, zombies are known for breaking things, in case you didn't know. So that's the same level that they flanged out earlier. Yes, it is. We're gonna go ahead and put a block here. We're gonna put a block here. We're also gonna put a block here. We're also gonna put one here. And here. And one here. Excellent. So that's our staircase, ladies and gentlemen. All right, excellent. So the other thing we're gonna do is realize that I forgot my hammer. So uh, that's fun. So I don't have the time to edit all, or put all these. So I will be right back after I get my hammer. And through the power of editing, oh I am God, back with a hammer. That's apparently call. a yellow this hammer. I don't know what song I'm gonna play that, but hopefully you guys like it. It's gonna have to be one of the uh, royalty ones from YouTube, so it's probably not gonna be the greatest song I've ever heard. I hope it's not terrible, whatever I pick. In case you haven't noticed, it is actually storming now, um, which is not great, but it's not terrible either. So 
So we are going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade some of these. By some of these, I don't mean some of the pillars, just some of the That's unfortunate. All right. So that, my dear friends, is all we got. A cobblestone. So hopefully the zombies don't chew up too much left. Unless I want to use up all my stone. We don't really have a better choice. We kind of need the. Uh, we need the base to stand up. We need the base to take it. I will be back once it's done processing all the Dude, I can't hear right, you over Alright, so now I got more cobblestone. We have again. 75 cobblestone. We can upgrade 7 more blocks. So, we are going to upgrade the stairs. I feel like they'll attack probably, but that's not really important. We want to make sure we upgrade the most important blocks of all, which is going to be these ones. These blocks are going to take the biggest beat of any other block. Besides maybe the pillars I'm going to use. But most specifically, this block right here. If that block falls, this one block, that one block falls, this base fails. The whole base falls. Not, like, not falls down, but it means the zombies can get in here. So, at all costs, we want to make sure that that block does not break. Can't just stack these anymore. Oh. Oh, because it's over 500. Okay. Wow. All right. Anyway. <clears throat> yes, we want to make sure that that one block does not fail. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a hatch. Build a hatch. Now this might not be the way that other people do it, but this is going to be the way that we do it, and it's going to work. There's a lot of. I know this is an old style thing. Alright, so that opens that way. That's the way I want it to be, right? Yes, it is. Alright, can I upgrade this? I cannot. It requires an iron hatch. What do I need for an iron hatch? Forged iron! That used to be scrap iron. What the hell? Well, that's unfortunate. We do have that, though. Back in base. Do I think this is going to be good enough? Oh, that's 750 hit points? Yeah, we can. We can. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish building this part out. Now, yes, we leave these all windows because that way you have optimal ability to see what's coming at you and you can either engage it in beforehand if you need to or what have you. Now the other thing I forgot to do is in the middle right here. We normally put another doorway here. Hello. Cool. This cord really is. This cord's being a real Dude, piece of shit. Right I now. have a home no cooking anyway. weekly really and a forge ahead schematic for you. Or a book thingy for you. And I also have electrical traps. Okay. Nice. Can't make electrical traps. Don't have the forged iron for it right now. Or the time. The time's the biggest problem. Oh. Don't have time. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to go ahead and build this part out too as well. I don't really know how long this video is going to be, but we will cut it accordingly. So if it sounds a little jumpy afterwards. I do apologize, but I'm doing my best here. Uh, I'm an amateur YouTuber. What do you want from me? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put more of this up here. I can just go straight across at that point. 
Come kind of here, up here, up here, straight across. Okay. And up here, this is all going to be walled. I'm stealing two forged diamonds. Alright, so that's that part. Done. Now, this part here, we normally make a regular roof as well. But this side here, we usually pick up a ladder, so that's going to be stay, or that's going to stay open, and the rest of this is going to get filled in. All right, and then the rest of this is going to be iron bars, which once again, I know is a problem when you have the spitting vultures, but you know, yeah. Uh, no, that's not what I want. I want R. I forgot how to do this for a second. Shapes. Uh, iron bars, not the center ones. These ones, please. Thank you. And then we're going to go ahead and do on face. Yeah. So that, that's done. All right, excellent. So all of this part here is done. How much wood have we got? We got 144 wood, which is not enough to achieve much. But what we can do with it is upgrade this station right here. We're going to want this part to be kind of somewhat upgraded. This part, after all, is going to be the part that is facing the zombies. The other thing that's going to be facing the zombies is over here. I'm going to upgrade these portions of the bars here as well. These are our priority bars. The rest of it can be upgraded later. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully that's not like going to come bite my butt or something. But yeah, but these ones for sure we want to be upgraded. Okay, so with that we are out of wood. I don't think that's bad. Considering this is a built in less than a day. I don't think that's bad. At all. Now, this basic structure alone will probably last up to, the horde, to like a, 21, a day 21 horde. You have to upgrade this, though. I'm assuming, you know, I'm of course assuming if you upgrade this to cobblestone and then the concrete, it'll last a day 21. If you put some defenses on here, like some electric fences, dart traps, it'll last much, 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 much longer. Yeah, so that's the future of this base. In the future, we're going to have a bunker that comes off the side here and, of course, on the other side. And there's just going to be electric fences in there. And it's going to come across. And the electric fences are going to stun the zombies in this in these spots. And there's going to be dart traps that shoot at them. Now, I don't remember if I want three. No, yeah, two of them. One here. There's going to be a line of dart traps here. Electric fences going to cover all three pathways here. And the part with this one here is if the stuns locks them here, we can shoot at them ourselves. We don't want a dart trap here, though, because the dart trap here will kill us as well. But yeah, so, so far, this is the horde base. The windows are going to be filled with hatches. Probably we'll have hatches that we'll be able to close and open, depending on how much heat we got on us. We eat a little bit, too, while we're talking. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop some stuff off at the Horde base and we are going to prepare for Horde Night and Horde Night is the next episode, guys. So what I want you to do is comment below if you want me to upload that one early because we're going to record it right after this one. But I want you to know, do you guys want me to put that one up early or do you want me to just upload it on my normal time? Just because I'm fishing for comments and I never get any. I'll be really excited if I actually get this. Um, I can't hear you. Just say hi if you want. Like, you know, let me know how you're doing. I'm curious. What you saying over there? All right, guys, so we're going to call this one here. I will see you back for Horde Night. But until then, I hope you guys have a good time. Bye -bye. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.